What's up, Trendsetter Gang? So I just wanted to debut this. I thought I was recording it, and y'all, look, I've already drank some. I've recorded this. I'm so mad at myself right now. So this is Spring Creek Pink Moscato by California. You can get it in Dollar General. You can get it in Walmart. And I think it's like $2.99 or like $2.97 seven or something i think it's like three or four dollars with taxes like under five dollars so i'm gonna just have a little bit just for the sake of video because i'm so mad at myself like i literally was like all up in the recording i thought i was recording and i wasn't so this is crazy um but anyway we're gonna go on this is a great wine to have in the evening with a Tapas for those that know what tapas is, it's like a hors d'oeuvre, really light hors d'oeuvres, um, or like a stuff. If you've ever had like a vegan hors d'oeuvre, like stuffed mushrooms with um, stuff with quinoa and a little spinach, or pesto, like a pesto sauce, um, I gotta do some recipes for y'all to see some vegan. Just my daughter would make some always. She she always made like some little vegan um, hors d'oeuvres for me. Um, it, when she comes, when she would come to visit me when I was in Georgia, and we would have like a light wine in the evening. This is the type of wine you need to start your evening, your day with. And this is good with spicy foods and dessert. Um, it says, um, the, look, this Moscato, our pink Moscato is light and refer refreshing and bursting with ripe flavors of tangerine and peach. And it does. It's really, it's sweet. Um, and it's very light body. For you light waiters, this is great and it's sweet. And the sweet wine drinkers. I am, you know, I like sweet, but I also like the bitter. I like the robust. I like the heavy, full body Merlots. You know what I'm saying? Red wines. I'm a red wine girl. You guys know that. Remember that when we get into the Get to Know Me Live. Um, when, when I do the Get to Know Me Live, I want you guys to remember that because I'm going to be giving away things for people that know me well. So get into it. Study me. <laughs> Um, yeah, so, um, they said serve chill with your favorite spicy foods as a sweet, you know, as well as sweet desserts. Now, a uh, spicy food that I would do this with, hmm, a spicy food, hmm, maybe like a spicy shrimp jambalaya pasta. Or, um, and it's aromatic, y'all. The tangerine and peach mixed together is a wonderful combination. Really, it is. I love, I love the smell of it. It's really aromatic. Yeah. You know, they said do it with some spicy, you know, some spicy stuff, but I would do it with a salad too. Like a light wine with this, with a really big salad that's like a vinaigrette or something. Or, um, I mean, you can make your, sa your salad spicy now because I've been known to make a spicy salad. Put a little cayenne pepper. Cayenne pepper is your friend. Some people say it makes you go to the bathroom. It absolutely does. And it, that means it's good for you because you need to clean out. You're constantly putting in. You got to clean it out. Yes. <laughs> Baby girl. <laughs> you got to clean it out. But um, what else would I do with this? A spicy... I don't know, that's what I can think of. A spicy jambalaya pasta. Um, or like a spicy sun-dried tomato hummus. Black bean hummus. Oh, get into it. It's an Iranian restaurant in Atlanta. I don't know if it's still there because I'm not in Atlanta. I have to look it up to see. 
But I went to an Iranian restaurant where I went to, to Ethiopian restaurants. I wish I was on YouTube because I've been to all these different kind of restaurants because I like to try new things. I'm very adventurous, y'all. <laughs> I am. And um, I I'm a foodie, too. I love the experience. I really appreciate this experience and... Um, yeah, the experience of wine and food and good food. Um, there's a, a, a restaurant in Atlanta that's an Iranian restaurant. If it's still there, and they did a, I asked for a hummus, and I, you know, looked on it, and they brought me the little thing, and it was a black bean hummus with a spicy sun-dried tomatoes in it. So it made the whole thing spicy. Get into it with some tortilla chips. Oh my God. I can't even remember what I ordered for dinner. I was so excited about the hummus and how it tasted and the experience of it. What did I eat for dinner that night? Um, I, I want to say I was eating meat, but I don't think so. I don't really think I was because I had that. I said I want the hummus. It might have been like a rice dish. I can't even remember. I need to look it up and see if I can even find the menu. Because they serve different things at different times. This is this is like a... This was... the It had ambiance. It was, it was like in a house. And it was like upstairs. And it was... The seating, it was a different restaurant. You've never seen a restaurant like this. Um, it wasn't the standard table and chairs. It was the lounging seats, and um, they had the seats connected to the wall. And it, Every room was different. I mean, it was, you had to be there. I'm going to look it up so maybe I can tell some people about it. Oh, my God, it was the experience of my life. I loved it. I really like to do that. There's a Moroccan restaurant in Atlanta. I'll probably tell y'all about that. But, um, honey, they had the pillows sitting on the floor. The food was good. They have rack of lamb if you like meat. And if you don't want meat, they also have foods for the vegans. Because a lot of them, you know, from other countries don't eat a whole bunch of meat anyway. But they have to do it when they're in America because a lot of people in America eat meat. But anyway, it was an Iranian restaurant. I think it was called Iran. I think that was the name of it. Um, but I don't quote me on it. And it was it was like black and white outside. It was so pretty. It, I loved it. I love things that I walk into, I don't expect it. And just the shock factor, the experience, as soon as you walk in the door, people are friendly. They um, are welcoming, they make you feel at home, and it was just a wonderful experience. Anytime I'm eating, even if I go to, an, if I'm going to another country, if I'm going out of the country, if I'm going to another state, I like to try the food. Me and my daughter, we do it all the time because I'm a foodie by nature. And so, um, oh my God. I, you know, any, I'm just thinking now when I was in Jamaica, like when I go to different places, baby, we gone, we balling, we ball, okay, and we try different things, you know, and you, you know, that's why I tell people if you're going with me, you got to be ready for the ball, cause don't talk about, I don't like to be around people talk about, oh, I ain't got no money, now. we about to ball, <laughs> we about to ball, like. When I went to Vegas for my birthday, Ball City, and I went by myself. I had 15 people lined up to go with me. Everybody did not go. Nobody went. I went by myself. And when I tell you that I had the time of my life, I met new people. Um, I went to um, a magic show. I had never been to a magic show with Chris. Um, what was his name? Chris. Oh my God, what's that guy named? The magician. Is it Chris Kringle? I don't know. He looks like a mini David Copperfield. Dark hair. 
he talks about his family and his kids. I love a man to talk about his family and his kids, but he talked about his family and his kids in the in the at the show before he got started. I thought it was so amazing. Um but he looks, I always say he looks like a David Copperfield. I grew up on David Copperfield, but the shows were so loud. And it was, I ain't gonna lie, it was, it, the tickets was $150. But like I told y'all, I came ready to ball, so I didn't care. I was ready. If I could have got a ticket in time, I would have got a ticket. I would have went to see David Copperfield. Because I heard that after that show when I went, I can't, what year was that? After I went, he was, uh, David Copper, David Copperfield, sorry y'all, just give me a second, David Copperfield, um, was, they had said he was supposed to be retiring in that time that I was there. That was supposed to be the last show. So. Give me a second. Sorry, y'all. I had to. I'm the type of person when I talk to somebody and I have to say something again, I'm annoyed. Especially when we I've talked to you and said it, we've texted about it. It's like, what are you, are you trying to get me to, what do you want me to say? I said the same thing I said the last time and it's not going to change. Like, I don't, I don't like that. I just, I really, I don't care for that. But anyway, that's not y'all business. But anyway. Mm -hmm. Lord have mercy. Okay. So yeah, um, <laughs> I am trying so hard. <laughs> Y'all see me? I'm just trying to like, Lord, I need you to help me because people be trying it. They be really trying it. Like, I'm glad I meditate every day. Let me just say that. Okay. So anyway, enough of that. I want you guys to go and get this wine. It is the Spring Creek um, Pink Moscato. I got a little lipstick on the bottle. I didn't mean to. L Spring Creek Pink Moscato. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And don't also don't forget to click that notification bell. So every time I upload a new a new video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And also, don't forget to click that notification bell, notification bell every time I... Um, so you will know every time I upload a, a new video. I'm sorry, y'all. A screen just popped up on my thing, and I hope it didn't block you guys from seeing me. So this video is getting ready to go out. Just want to say I love you, Trendsetter Gang, and see you on the next video. Mm -hmm. Bye.